What's up guys? Today we're going to check out this Kicker PX200.1 that will fit in the palm of your hand. And it's designed for power sports, motorcycles, boats, lawnmowers. <laughs> I don't know why you're using the lawnmower. probably couldn't hear it over the, the blade. You big dummy! But anyway, um, yeah. Fits in the palm of your hand. It's rated 200 by 1 at half an ohm mono. It's a mono block amp. So... What do you say we tried on the dyno? Now this one does not come with a burst sheet like most, most kicker amps do, which concern me a little bit. So uh, yeah, what do you say? Let's throw it on the dyno and see if we can find out. What's up guys, BD Wiz here. Let's take a look at this little mini amp from Kicker. Five inches or 120 millimeters wide by 3.5 or 88 millimeters tall by only two inches thick or 50.6 millimeters. The amp comes with this inline fuse, 15 amp fuse and 10 gauge wire in addition to this harness that has the speaker outputs, it has RCA outputs, power and ground, and remote turn on you can see it plugs into the amp and makes a nice weatherproof seal on the opposite side we've got the crossover frequency either 250 or 100 hertz i'm gonna flip it down to 250 leave everything else off bass boost off input level is normal let's get it hooked up here using this little uh, terminal strip check out the video description if you like to get one of these terminal strips they're very useful i have a link to amazon where you can pick one of those up let's plug in the rcas Power this bad boy up, and let's try it out. All right, here's the ratings. Notice the half ohm load is rated less than or equal to 10% THD, 200 by one. One ohm mono is 100 watts at less than equal to 1% THD plus noise. So for the half ohm test, we're gonna be looking at clipping instead of the certified test. So we'll just note that. Let's try the little kicker at one ohm. It's rated 100 watts at 1% THD or less. So let's see if we can get that. 40 hertz track. Well, a little bit shy of that too. 91 watts, one ohm, 14.5 volts. Pulled about eight amps of current through the fluke. All right, here we go with a little kicker 200 watt mini 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 amp fit in the palm of your hand let's try it at half an ohm certified up to one percent thd at 40 hertz all right 161 watts right at 14.4 volts there's our current pull 14.8 amps of current so right at that 15 amp fuse. All right, here with a little kicker amp, we're gonna try uncertified 40 Hertz and should have more than 14.4 volts at the end of the test here. We're gonna see what we get. It's rated to do 200 Watts at 10% THD. So clipping should be more than 10% THD. So let's see what we get. All right, 163 at 14.5, pulled 16.7 amps. I have an idea, we're gonna try 100 Hertz. See if we can get that 200 Watts, let's try that next. 
So we got it wired up here at half an ohm and we're gonna do the 100 Hertz test signal. I have the crossover frequency on the kicker set to the 250 Hertz. It gives you the option of 100 Hertz or 250. So I bumped it to the 250. That way we should be able to run the 100 uh, Hertz test track, which is track six here on the amp dyno disc. So let's run this and see if we can get that 200 watts that it claims. Come on kicker, let's kick it. Dang it. We can't pull more than 163 watts at half an ohm. 14.44 volts, about 17 amps of current. We let it run a little bit longer on that test than before, but it's not gaining any power after that. So, hmm, what's up with that kicker? I don't see 200 watts here. All right, let's try 40 hertz um, dynamic RMS power, simulating a kick drum with a little kicker amp, 40 hertz. All right, looks like it doesn't like that burst too good. Uh, actually, less power than the other two. 158 at 14.3 volts. All right, next up, let's take the amp apart and check out the guts. See what's inside this tiny amp. Now, you want to take off the screws on the side that have the little flap where the crossover controls are. This is the only way you can get the bottom off. The other side is kind of glued on. You can't really get into it. So you can see here, not a whole lot going on at all. Um, got some caps over here on the left side, got a little transformer in the middle, and here is our board that has all the crossover components and switches and stuff and inputs. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on here. So anyway, let's move on to the results next. Again, this amp is just so tiny it fits in the palm of your hand. It's amazing that it does anything over 100 watts, but check this out. 4 ohms, 25 watts, 2 ohms, 47 watts, 1 ohm, 91, so we didn't quite get 100. And then half ohm, 161 to about 163 watts is all we got. So we didn't get that 200 watts that it's rated. We also did the 100 hertz test, which we're hoping was going to give us the ratings, but it didn't. So anyway, oh well. So I was a bit bummed with the results. We didn't get our 200 watts, but I figured... Let's hook up a few subwoofers here and try it out with actual speakers to see how it sounds. I've got these JL Audio 8W6s. These are dual voice coil, six ohm per coil, and I rewired them up so I could get um, 1.33 ohms total of a load here. Then uh, I decided, well, that's not quite enough. I need to hook some additional speakers up. So I found a couple more speakers that I had sitting around. I had, um, a 15W3 and a 12W6. So let's get the little mini kicker amp wired up here, hooked up to the 14 volt battery and try it out. All right guys, so I broke all the rules hooking up these subwoofers to the little kicker 200 watt mini amp. Um, <laughs> the rules I'm talking about are ported and sealed, eight inch on the bottom, 15 inch over here, 12 inch here, the 12 and the 15 are both sealed. The eight supported, but you know, I don't care. I'm just trying to get the ohm load down low enough to uh, see if this amp right here will kick it. Like it says it will, cause it's kicker. It's supposed to kick it out. So got everything wired up. I'm running about 0.8 ohms. I couldn't get any lower than that. And I didn't want to hook up any more subs to my little mini wall here right now. Uh, 14 volt battery providing the power and just have the iPhone hooked up. I've adjusted the gain, so I've got it set up right. So let's see what it'll do. My little mini wall here with a little mini amp. And you know I'm old school and gotta play some DJ Magic Mike. So be prepared.
right, guys, there you have it, my test and demo of the Kicker PX200.1. This is Big D Wiz here. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Leave a comment below. Like the video, all that good stuff. Until next time, I'm out of here. Just because I knew you guys would ask, because I would ask anybody who's testing this, this little amp here is probably going to be used in a ATV or side-by-side -side or something that has closer to the 12 volt. So we got our AGM uh, 12 volt battery here by Duracell, and we're going to try the dyno test at half an ohm using just the battery here and see what we get at 40 hertz. This is going to be more realistic. Those 14 and a half volt numbers were not very realistic for most of the ways this amp is going to be used. So let's check it out. All right, so just over 12 volts at half an ohm, we're getting just over 112 watts. That's about, yeah, that's quite a bit less, obviously, than the 14.5 or so volts we had before. It gives you a better idea what to expect. I mean, it's a tiny amp. Getting 100 watts out of it is pretty impressive if you ask me. But yeah, there you go.